little flare-up going on. Flavel's involved. Here's Cafu. Regan goes in. Starting to need protection at the breakdown. The referee says it's out. Here's Gifford. Anton Oliver. Gifford offloaded. 15 metres out from the goal line. Finnegan has a crack. And now Larkin. Larkin goes to the boot. The referee plays advantage and length of this. Superb kick from Larkham and watch Latham just watches it so beautifully. He gets across as Ron Cripp. The Howard was, can't stop him. It was all about putting maximum pressure on Jonah Lomu. They put it in the air, they put it behind him, and they had one of the best against him. A facultative placement by Chris Latham. An absolutely superb try early in the game. It's another mighty strike. Burgers on fire. The Wallabies ahead by 10. Larkin with another tester in behind Lomu. Down to McDonald. Can Matthew Burke increase the lead? He is in a purple patch. Wilkins has had 13 possessions. Not allowed to play with a football. And he does. So that's more like it for Mertens. His previous strike was a wobbly one. Joe Roth on the return. Keeping the ball in play again. Troy Flavel back here with Leon McDonald. Jonah's out here on the left. This is Flavel. Chris, this is the easiest kick so far for Matthew Burke. He's been a big difference with five from five, Burton's two from four. It's the world champion Wallabies leading the All Blacks by 19 to six. So another line out lost by the All Blacks. <laughs> Aggressive scrummaging from New Zealand. 45 metres out. Here's Mertens. Steps beautifully. Umaga's been in. That defence which had been so sure in the first half. The doubt back inside came Melatini. Took on Rod Moore who missed. Took on Larkham who missed. Took on Latham who went inside. And Howlett crosses. They're back. Well, Doug Howlett, the academic in this All Black side, studying Greek philosophy at uh, University in New Zealand, was there on, to take the pass, but also Tana Umang was on the other side of Alatini. Beautiful support for the All Blacks. Now the Australians do know they've got a game on their hands here. A big wake-up call. Mertens, Alatini. And that's a grand tackle by Torai Kefu. Lazy work from Rod Moore, he's got him from offside. This to take him to 758 test points, and the all-black total to 16. Byron Kelleher now. McDonald, Alatini, Lomu's outside. Great work by Lomu, and Alatini gets another one. Well, Peter Alatini has put the All Blacks in the lead. Watch it. They just spread this ball away from the Australian defence. John Eels out wide was coming across. Possible forward pass there. Lomu, George Smith all over him. Larkham just provides that extra opportunity as McDonald feeds the ball to Alatini. Lomu again takes the defence in. The Wallabies get punished because they don't mark up quickly enough of the man on the outside. Leighton missed the one-on-one -on -one tackle. The pass may well have been forward, but the points are on the board. So Andrew Mertens making no mistake. And what a dramatic turnaround by the All Blacks. Tane Randall applauds from the 
substitute bench 23 19 they've made it to the advantage line david giffen now anton oliver sweating on gregan larkham sandwiched good tackle by jack he's been on target with his recent kicks Gregan now, Walker's out wide, there's a chance, and what a tackle there by Troy Flavel, offside, offside's the ruling, no advantage to Australia, they get the penalty, well I think everyone said it was going to go down to the wire, it's certainly shaping that way, so it's seven metres out, Australia needs to try to win the game. Cobain takes the line out. Australia trying to drive ahead. Gregan again. And Larkham. Kefu. Tolay Kefu! That is the match winner. Kefu will never score a more important try. That is the dream result they wanted. As Elton Bluntley converts, so important for both the Wallabies and the All Blacks. They've only got to put it into touch. And they do. Tri-Nations 2001.